Hey everyone, quick heads up. The class you're about to watch happened as a live stream during the lockdown in spring 2020. I was still figuring out how to teach in my bedroom and in front of the camera. But I did edit the whole live stream down for you, so now you have a one hour class with a warm up, a dance along, an explanation of a couple jazz steps, and a routine at the end. I also record some extra video with just the routine and some of the jazz steps, so if you're interested in checking those out, see the description below for the links for them. If you want to take the full class, just keep on watching, have fun, and do the like and subscribe thing, I appreciate it. All right, here we go with our Charleston class. We're going to start with our warm-up, with our balancing. I have a timer again on my computer, so let's see how that works. Here is a song that's long enough. Very relaxing. First minute is starting now. Choose one foot. Balance with your whole weight on that foot. Don't jump around unless you want to. Make sure you're all aligned. Your head is over your shoulders. Your shoulders are over your hips. Your hips are over your feet. Make sure you just feet only pop out if you want to, but not by accident, because that will make it harder for you. And if you feel comfortable here, start going bouncing, hearing the music, letting the beat in your body. You can warm up your leg by like warming up the single joints. Just dance a little bit. Find your own challenge. Check in with yourself if you're still all aligned. Maybe come to still. Make sure you're properly balanced, and then you can dance. You should only move if that's the next challenge up. If you have struggles just balancing here, that's okay. You can just be here and just do this. Just take it slow. Shake it out and get ready. Change back to the foot you started on. The minute is starting now. Bring your weight forwards so you can lift your heel. And you want to balance here. This should be harder, so don't worry about moving your other limbs. Just try to be really well aligned. If you have a mirror or a window so you can like find your reflection to like check if you're actually straight. Because sometimes if you don't practice that, like sitting up straight or standing up straight, you might not actually know if you are doing this or if you're here. It's something we need to practice. It's just muscle memory. So if you can check yourself visually, try doing that. It's burning, you're practicing, training the right muscles. Legs. 
shake them out. If you just joined, welcome. Make sure you kind of like give your body oops, a little bit of what it needs. I always like to like do my neck. I just recently learned in all those online yoga classes I'm doing that when I roll my neck to actually follow my nose, like imagine I to make a circle with my nose. Now you might have known this already, but for me that was new information and I really like it. I feel like it's a healthier neck practice. Anyway, I always feel like my shoulders and my neck get tight, so that's nice. Welcome, let's do some dancing. Um, if you've been here the last couple of weeks, you know we've done a lot of like kick stepping and stuff, so we're going to start off a little more chill with some medium tempo songs and um, then take it from there. so tight and squeezing you with all my might baby my plane is flying bringing me home to you i thought about you i missed you so much thought i lost your magic touch thought you were mad i felt so bad till you called and we made up but now that everything's okay the plane is swinging on its way baby not twenty specials making my dreams come true. Twenty four. Twenty back. show you again slowly even though you won't need it for the rest of the class this was a half break and a half break is four counts not eight counts that's why it's half and we go step step kick ball change you can like really drop down if you want to or just go for back a little bit like a rock step shoe heart just forwards and then you have a shoe ha, kick ball change and it comes from tap dancing and tap dancing uh, you'll have like a shuffle ball change which I'm not very good at in yet. Ba, ba, ba. So it's that kind of rhythm. That's where it comes from. Step, step, kick, ball, change. One, two, eight, one, two, three. That's a half break for you. Um, if you want to go back later and watch it some more. Let's do uh, the next song. <laughs> Bye. 
Charleston dancing but you are practicing and let's take a sip of water get ready for one more song 
Whew. And as a reminder, all songs today are from Jonathan Stout and his Campus Five and Orchestra. No, just this Campus Five, yeah, Jonathan Stout, featuring Hilary Alexander, who is the one that's singing. This is the song you want. <laughs> along so get some water get some air So we're going to jump right into the explanation of this last move that we just did. Curtain is not doing what it's supposed to do here. Yeah, does it look nice? So last week, if you joined us or if you watched the class later, um, we did a jump Charleston. That's the one I explained before with a very basic version of that kick, step, down, wow, bow, or wait, break that down more. Front, kick, back, step, make it a kick, step. And we kind of fall onto our opposite foot. And that fall is a little bit like we're jumping back, like on a trampoline, but then we have to like come back forwards. 
and that's where the jump comes from. Right? We're going to shoot. Oh, sorry. One, two, three. Ah, now I'm doing the variation already. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Like we're going back, and I want to come back out of that little position and jump back forwards. Um, that might be something if that's new to you. You want to practice a couple times before it maybe feels better in your body, which, by the way, is always the case, right? A new movement that you're not used to is probably not going to feel amazing right away, especially if it's very different to how you normally move. So if you're ever in a class and you learn a move and you're like, oh, it just doesn't work for me, it doesn't work yet, and that's totally fine. It just means you have to practice it a couple more times, maybe give your body some rest, and then sleep over it, and then come back to it in the morning. So that's the basic jump Charleston. And so this variation I'm doing today um, is one that they do in the Big Apple routine in the original video. So if you don't know what the Big Apple routine is, look it up. Look up the Big Apple contest on YouTube. Not now, after class. If you know what it is, you know it's this really fast routine that most Lindy Hoppers all over the world know and that when the right song comes on, we all run to the dance floor if we know the routine. And we just like dance that routine. And there's an original video where they performed it um, I should know that year. I think it's some some point 40 something or maybe late 30s and um, It's a black and white clip and it's white is Lindy Hopper's dancing it They're an iconic dance group that really paved, paved the way for Lindy Hop and solo jazz the way we know it today And so they do jump Charleston in that clip in that routine and they do it different ways So some will do the jump Charleston we just did where we take time to come back on our right foot, right? We're going one, two, three, four. So we're landing here on four, um, like we do in a basic Charleston, one, two, three, four, right? So um, that's, or if you do Lindy Hop, you know the side by side Charleston, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? You, you, you know that may be more typical. So some of them, they will dance that version, but some others, they're doing this version, one, two, three, four, five. And so they're landing earlier here. So it's not a front kick back kick, but it's a front kick and then it goes down right away. So it goes one, two, three, four. So kick and down, right? Show this from the side. Kick and down. One, two, three. And then we're already on our right foot and we're hopping on that foot. We're creating a little hop, hop. And it's a one, two, three, four. One, two, down, hop. So you want to have that sound, so listen to me do it once. So let's do that a couple times. On our right foot, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, do, ba, ha, shoot, ba. One, two, do, do, ha, ba, ba, shoot. So what happens here, if I just uh, make the rhythm, the first kick, one, two, you can't hear the kick, but you can hear my legs. It's still a ba, ba, because I'm constantly bouncing, like I told you, I'm lifting my foot. So, and then for the second one, the three, four, I can do that to the side. I can have really wide legs and go shoot, ba, hoo. And I like doing that when I teach it, so you can see what foot I'm on, but you can also hide that more and go shoot, ba, ba, hoo. All right, so it's about the rhythm, not so much the shape. So you want to always do the same rhythm and then find a way you want to express that rhythm in your body. And I still want to make sure there's a contrast because jump shots and still means you want to emphasize that five. So you want to go one, two, three, four, five. So that hop, hop here is smaller. It also needs to be because it's fast, right? Hop, hop. Well, five, you can really sink in because you have one beat to relax here. Um, let's do that a couple more times with the right foot and then try it with the left. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, 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 seven, eight. And then let's do it on the left foot. So I'm just gonna, it's the same thing. Kick, down, down, half. Wa, ba. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. I'm going to do the, a couple of them in a row. You can watch me first if you need more time to think of your left side, but you can join me right away. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, 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 seven, eight. Shoot. Okay, 
Okay, so that's our basic move for today. I'm going to build two variations on that. If this is already a lot for you, I just want you to keep practicing this while I keep going with the class. If you're saying, give me more, follow me. So first variation I want to add to this is an exit. So right now we're doing a very simple exit. We're doing one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. It's just a run, run, meaning step, step, but fast, like we're running. So um, I want to add a little extra here. So let's start with the first extra, which is like going to be a triple step. So we're going to have the following. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. It's not a triple step, sorry. It's a ball change step. It's an early triple step, or you could call it a triple, triple step. Yeah, a pull step, a pull, I don't know. Um, I was looking for a good word and I missed it. So uh, it's an, let's call it an early triple step or a ball change step. So we're here, we're gonna do ball change step, which means we've now changed our leg. We now have the other leg free. So we can do it on the other side. I'm going to show you the whole thing again. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. And now on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay, so when you're five, now you don't want to go seven, eight. You want to go a seven, eight. So let's do a couple of those. Let's do a couple um, changing leg triple steps. I'm going to try to do it slow so you can watch me first if you want to come close to the screen and then join as soon as you've got it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Ba-do, ha, shoo, ba, da, ba, ha. Ba-do, ha, shoo, ba, ha, ha, ha. Ba-do, ha, shoo, ba, 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 ha. Ba-do, ha, shoo, ba, ha, ha, ha. Ba-do, ha, shoo, ba, 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 ha. Ba-do, ha. Okay, cool. We're going to be practicing all of them with music as well, but I want to show you um, two more variations. Again, if you're saying, okay, this is all I can take in today, that's great. Just practice that. If you want to move forward, follow me. Next one is again another ending with two ball changes. It's going to look like this. One, two, three, four, five, a seven, a eight. So instead of two steps, we're having four quick steps, ba -ju, ba -da, which allows us to stick with one foot. And that's also something we see them all do. Not all of them, but a lot of the dancers in the Big Apple video do the same thing. So I'm going to do four of them on my right side and then four of them on my left side. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, and seven, and eight. Shoot, ba, ba, ha. Ba, do, ba, da, shoot, ba, ba, ha. Ba, do, ba, da, shoot, ba, ba, ha. Ba, do, ba. I was doing the other one. Okay, four more on the right side. I messed up, so you have to do it with me. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Ba, ba, ba. song. I'm going to make sure it's not too fast. 180. 180. 180 beats per minute. That's a very uh, kind Charleston tempo. Let's try it to that. Um, oh yeah, we're going to... Um, hmm, let me think. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start with the basic one. I'm going to do it a bunch of times, then I'm going to change and then do another one a bunch of times. And you can just join me, or you can practice whatever you want to practice, right? So this is a song for you to practice jump Charleston in whatever way you want to challenge yourself.
We're gonna um, dance to a song that we actually used, I think, in one of like session three or four of this solo jazz series, but this time it's gonna be a different artist. It just is a good song, it's easy to choreograph, and I had so many fun ideas for today. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna do the song again. And I bet most of you wouldn't have even known if I hadn't told you. Um, it's called Benny's Bugle, uh, this time by Jonathan Stout and his Compass Five. And um, we're going to start with three jump chasms in this routine. And ideally, we want to do this version with a double hop. So we're going to start on the right foot. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight. And three, two, three, four, five, and seven. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight, one. So on the last one, we want to end here in our squat chasm position. So I'm going to show you that transition again. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight, one. So when we come out, you can do, I mean, you could find a different transition for yourself. I'm so used to doing a seven, eight on the end of my jump chasm, but I will do a seven, eight, one. But if you want it to make it easier for yourself, you could do one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, one, right? You could just jump on seven, clap on eight, go down on one. Like that's the main thing. You want to come down here on one. So we have three jump chasms, all starting with the right, and ending here on one or first, fourth eight. Let's do it with count ones, and then we'll try it with music. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five. A seven, eight, one. So last one, make sure to come down here. Um, we're going to do it with the music. Tricky part is that it's really hard to count into the beginning. So I'm just going to show you, and I'm not going to count. You can just watch or you can join whenever. Maybe you know the song well enough. someone was counting very loud. This one doesn't, and I practiced that a lot today, but I couldn't get there. So we'll just all have to practice hearing the song. And because the first one is a kick, I feel like it's easy to cheat. Like if you miss it, you can just start with three, four, five. Uh, ideally, we don't want to cheat, but let's see. We can later go back to the other version where someone's counting. It's a little faster, so I want to practice with this one first. Um, let's do it again, all together. Three jump Charleston, and we want to end one here on the fourth eight. Let's finish this phrase. So we're going to have a, a little bit of squat Charleston, but it's very short. So we're ending here in one, and then we're going to do three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's just shoe, kick, end. And then we're going to go on this leg, and we're going to do some trucking. Shoe, ba, ba, ba. So it's going to look like this. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, this move... I think those are trucks. Um, there's all these different ways to truck. Um, but yeah, we want to make sure that like we we have a 
three, four, and then on five, five, six, seven, eight, I push off my left leg to go into the floor, and then it's just like, shoot, 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 shoot. Like you're just scooting on one foot. If you're really sticky, shoes on, that might be harder, so um, we'll just have to play with that to see what's possible. Uh, I'm just going to show you one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on five, you go down. Um, let's do that for, uh, the transition from the last jump chasten until the trucking. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you can go further because you don't have a curtain there, you can like go the distance. One more time. Last jump chasten into this trucking part. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven. And then here at eight, you want to already kick out the left leg. Eight, because there's more coming. But we are halfway through the routine, so it's not that much more coming. Um, let's do that to music. I would tell you that I want to. Uh, I will count you in, but I know um, I won't be able to do that. So we'll just all have to guess when the song starts together. <laughs> Charlesons. And after the third one, you already have to be, bam, ready for that squat. Routine, but I want to add a jump Charleston variation that I haven't shown you yet that I love and I've seen that I've seen Frida do that Frida Segredal. Um She's a Swedish dancer if you um, haven't heard of it. She's amazing You can definitely find her just by putting in Frida Segredal on YouTube I hope I'm saying her name right or Sky and Frida for her in Lindy Hop and um, She has a variation with this jump Charleston where she puts a turn into it and it looks like this one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So the rhythm is exactly the same. One, two, bounce, bounce, pop, ba do, ba da. And I'm going to break this down for you. You could totally just put that on a shelf, but I recommend you learn it because it's so much fun. Um, we have one, two, three, four. So what I do is I want to turn over my left shoulder when I do this. Let's go shoe, left shoulder, ba, 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 ba. So, um, one, two, I can start turning with my bounce, right? So right now, you can only see my beautiful backside in this gray jumpsuit, but I can do one, two, three, four. So now you, I'm already turned 90 degrees. That can really help me. And then when I jump on five, five, I use that leg to get some energy, a seven, a eight. I'm gonna show you again slowly the whole move. One, two, three, four, five, a seven, a eight. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm still not turned all the way, and I'm really using that leg for and seven and eight. And this is where the fast ending, the baju baja, comes in really helpful because it allows me more steps that I can use. It's harder to get all the way around if I only do seven eight. So I'll do a seven a eight. One more time. One two three four five a seven eight. And then I'm back here. I'm gonna do um, three of them in a row because I don't want to get too dizzy. You can still keep watching, or you join me. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna show you from the front in case that gives you any help. Um, I'm gonna try to change my leg so it's mirrored for you. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the cool thing is that we keep our rhythm, it's the same rhythm, shoot, ah, 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 ooh, like that. But we're adding a turn and we're creating a whole new aesthetic. It's not necessary, it's a cherry on top. Let's see how 
it goes this. So I don't want to do this three times in a row during this routine, I only want to do it once. So I want to do a regular jump chasten, um, a jump chasten with a turn, and then a regular jump chasten into ha, shoot, ba, 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 ba. So that's what I'm going to do. Jump chasten without a turn, jump chasten with a turn, one without a turn, into our squat for the last move. You can join me, you can watch me, or you can um, do whatever version you want to do. Second one, we're supposed to have a turn. just a little bit left at the end. So we're here. Uh, let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five. So what this is is a fall of the lock and we already practiced that in like our second song today. So here's the rhythm. The rhythm is eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Uh, so six, seven, eight. Yeah. So kick, step, step, down, up, kick, ball change, step. For the side, with the left. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, down, up, kick, ball change, step. Yeah. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, forgot that step. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. That's our eight count here. And I'm going to add a turn into this, right? So I'm here. I'm doing kick, step, step, looking at you, down. I might not get all the way around. Maybe my down is here. Up, kick, ball change. Again, it's optional to do the turn. It's really cool. It is, uh, we have a very similar sequence in the tranky do. If you ever want to learn the tranky do or you have learned it before, it's another known jazz choreography, line dance thingy, and they have a similar thing in there. So, um, Let's put that together. It looks like this. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one. I would put a little eagle slide there. We're going to do this a couple times so you can watch it some more times if you want to or you can join right away. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. So I just went a little further, kick, ball change, step, slide, step. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, oh, I'm sorry. Eight, five, six, seven, eight. So sorry, we're starting with the down here. Five, six, seven, eight, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Two more times. With counts. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. One more time, I'll get it right. Five, six, seven, eight, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, down, ba, shoot, ba, do, ba, ooh, ah. Um, if all of that is a little too fast, I'll leave, away, I'll leave out the turn. Just maybe do a, two, three, five, six, seven. Like just cheat your way through it with a normal fall of the lock. But if you want to push yourself through it, try it. So um, I'm going to show you again one time really slow. You can ignore it and just keep practicing, or do it with me super slow from this part. Five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One. And so, um, maybe a tricky transition for you, probably not because you're all awesome, is when we do this one, 
five, six, seven, maybe eight. I'm already on this foot, right? So I'm just changing. Um, I'm just going to go eight, a little hops. Eight, one, two, down, up, kick, ball change, step, shoot, pop. And then from here, we're super close to being done because from here it's all chill. We have six, a seven, eight, one, two, and that's just three, four, five, six, seven. So we have a kick, ball change, step, slide down, and then we have a kick, cross, and then just slide back and we can use our arms. And that's the main part of the routine um, for today. We're going to add some decoration at the end. So let's um, try that with music from the beginning. You can only dance the first part with me and then watch to see how it fits to the music or you'll just try it right away. <laughs> to the Jonathan Stout version with the harder beginning because um, that's the song I had originally in mind for today and yeah I missed that turn on the second jump Charleston but if you did it you were right I was wrong never really wrong in solo dancing but you followed the choreography I gave you I didn't I'm gonna try to do it now different that's what I wanted so let's do it again to the song I'm gonna totally miss the beginning I'm so focused right now on getting it right for you that I probably won't so listen to the music don't watch me I forgot the turn again as well so let's do it again um, and I'll concentrate <laughs> through and then when we're done with the routine we end up here with a slide I want you to keep dancing now you can do what I'm going to be doing or you can just keep dancing by yourself it's only six more eight counts so it's not going to be a full song but I want you to kind of get used to keep moving your body even when the choreography ends because we don't have a lot of social dancing right now and I want you to just like move move to Charleston music and maybe you'll just repeat the routine or you just use single moves we did today, or maybe you just want to do something completely different. Here's what I'm going to be doing um, when we come back. 
I'm gonna do some stomps where I like stun my like the foot comes forwards and then I slide it down like shoo ha shoo ha. You might know this from the shim sham. I really like to use my hip in this. Uh, and I'm gonna do four on each side. I'm gonna do eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, two, five, two, five, down. And then I'm gonna improvise for the last two eights. That's a super simple move that I really like because you can put a lot of attitude in there. And you can, you know, you can make it maybe just use your foot. You could even walk through it if you wanted to. I think we did that last week. Um, it, do something out of that, but you can completely improvise. So these coming six eights, they are um, just for us to keep moving. And then we're gonna restart the song and dance the routine again. having fun okay so if there's a, some parts in there that are super complicated for you doesn't matter you put a lot of thinking and work in your body and now you want to dance to enjoy and if it isn't perfect that's okay right if you have already done a lot of dancing and you're like oh this is not that hard then I want you to put some extra energy into this and I want you to like really mean every step right so this is our last run through for today put everything you have in there um, don't focus too much on me, I can't promise anything, and just have fun with this uh, routine and with this song.